Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Sunroad FR821B watch. The folks at GearBest asked me to take a look on their website and pick out something that I'd like to review. So I picked this out because it sort of looks like a G-Shock and it has a crap load of features such as a altimeter, a barometer, a compass, temperature, pedometer, time, date, alarm, stopwatch, world time. Um, and it looks, it sort of looks just like a Casio, Casio G-Shock. Um, it doesn't feel exactly the same, and it's like a harder plastic. It doesn't give like the G-Shocks. But, you know, it doesn't cost as much as a G-Shock. It only costs $45.57 with free shipping. It does come from China, so it does take a little while, but GearBest is pretty good at getting you those things pretty quick, considering they're coming from all the way around the world. Um, if you're interested in this at any point in time, please go down to the description box. There's a link there for you. You can click on it, try to make it easy as possible, along with all the uh, features and specifications, diameters, etc., and so forth. So let's dive down, take a close look, and see if it's worth it. This is the box that it came in, but I, I was wearing it for a couple of days right there on my wrist and uh, but I did leave everything else that sort of came in here they give you a extra battery it's a CR2032 battery so it's nice that they give it out I don't know too many watches that actually give you an extra battery that's pretty cool the, the watch was wrapped around this guy here the um, they give you a user guide all different languages in there and they give you a cleaning cloth to clean it the packaging is pretty cool you know lots of good information several languages right there right there right there I say you got there an awful lot there so I've been wearing it all day today too just trying to get even more familiar with it so here's the watch and the first thing you're gonna say is wow that looks um, kind of hard to read, and yes, it is hard to read, so let me um, try to get the lighting right. This is sort of like the early blacked out LCDs, you know, they had to use like a polarized filter on there, and they weren't done very well when they first came out, and they're, I guess they're sort of what they're using here, so it's not the brightest screen, it's a little hard to read, and you can go in there and you know try to make it as bright as possible and it is uh, maxed out at the highest setting so most watches don't even let you go in there and adjust the contrast but this one is bumped all the way up and you can still see it's a little hard to read now what you're looking at is the time and there's the day up there the date down there and what you can't see because <laughs> it's so hard to see um, let me see if I can zoom in here just a little bit more there we go. Like there today, it was raining and there was like a cloud up here with like rain coming off it. So pretty neat. You could also see how the seconds sort of go around the edges. Pretty neat. So what I'm going to do is, if you hit this button right up here, it takes you to the barometer, and you can see uh, right there. It sort of cycles, I think, between the barometer and the altimeter if I'm not mistaken or temperature this is actually pretty accurate as far as the temperature is concerned you can see it's like 81 degrees here most watches are very bad when it comes to temperature because they pick up the temperature of your arm but actually this one seems to do better than the ones that I've experienced so you can sort of see how it's uh, cycling up there but it's like barometer it gives you trends you can see it like a little scale there kind of neat your altimeter it says altimeter there right now so I guess that's all that is temperature and altimeter is this guy here so let's go back to the main screen if I hit down here you're looking at a compass 
check that out and this again is one of the most accurate compasses I've seen in a watch in a very long time uh, it, it works better than watches that are three times as much in my experience it works very very well I was walking around today in the parking lot trying to get some exercise get rid of this weight and um, it was dead on accurate the one thing you do have to do is when you first get this watch if you do decide to buy it is you have gotta calibrate it you know you gotta hit the, the button the way it says and get it into calibration mode and you gotta sort of turn it 360 degrees and keep up with it as it's sort of um, the indicators going around the dial to, to keep on pointing it in that direction and you sort of turn it around and calibrate it but once you do that it's dead on balls accurate it's pretty damn neat let me see if I hit this button again nope alright so you can see while it's in uh, compass mode the, the time is down there anyway let's go back to the normal mode now um, I can continue to hit this mode button it's going to take me to the uh, pediometer. I hope I'm saying it right. You know, it counts your steps. It's sort of accurate. Um, I didn't test it out very good. I was just like walking around where I work with it on, and it was okay. Um, you know, if, if you're thinking about serious about counting your steps, I wouldn't um, count on this, but it's better than nothing. Let's see. You also have several alarms. Uh, looks like uh, you also could turn on and off the chime if you want and I think that's showing two alarms there and then chime next it there is a uh, stopwatch and counter and also world time so like here's New York City you can see NYC and then you can sort of cycle up and down and go around all the time zones like in London right now it's 2235 which is 1035 p.m. in normal civilian world and you could change this where you have 24 hour clock or mil you know military clock or just standard 12 hour a.m. p.m. I like the military time that's um, my thing I was in the military for 22 years it wasn't just Santa <laughs> anyway so you see you got a world clock there hit the mode again and you're back to normal time there's also a one button thing where you could change from um, 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 daylight savings time on and off for things like that so I think I covered all the modes again you got the uh, countdown timer stopwatch two alarms pedometer the, your normal time readout world time barometer altimeter and compass all in this unit that looks pretty tough there's the back I still got the plastic on the back too outdoor watch you see it's uh, waterproof to 30 meters or 100 feet on the back there they um, in the in the specs they call it um, AT uh, or 3 ATM which is atmospheric pressures so it's atmosphere pre it could take three atmospheres um, what that really comes down to is you don't want to submerge this underwater it's not meant for that it can um, it can go underwater for a very short time like if you drop it in a sink or or something like that it's fine but it's not something you want to go swimming with or diving with or anything like that it is going to leak if you do that I guarantee there is also I just suck snot on camera great I got a very bad cold so I apologize right now um, there is a backlight I don't know if you're going to be able to see it but let me uh, see if I could sort of there we go because it's a very dim light you can barely see it there see that it's on it's on it's on and I'll, you can see it go out there let me see if I can block more light there we go so I am going to um, wow this is amateur hour here I could just like turn the freaking lights out <laughs> but I just don't want to get up alright let's uh, hit the light there real quick there we go so you can see it a little bit better so it, it, it's not very bright at all it's meant for if it's really pitch black out that did look pretty nice though when I had that close up there didn't it again you can see how the seconds go around the outside it really is a very nice watch I wish they would have um, made it with a, a conventional where it's not a negative style 
Come on, camera. I know you can focus. I, I'm not a big fan of this negative style. I'd rather have the, the normal, but I know a lot of people like. You can see how dim it looks. If I turn the light on and get that reflection going on, it looks a lot better. So, inside in dim environments, it's very hard to read. Outside is fine. You know, you just find the angle that it reflects really good, and it's fine, just like you're seeing now. But it, it's like the early negative displays you know when I say early when this when they first started doing this on watches you know what I'm talking about they didn't really stand out very well like they do now and this is sort of old old school this blacked out display all right so on the back here kinda neat you got these little fins here whatever to help it sit on your arm really nice um, that's a good point however if you want to remove the back to change out the battery then you gotta start removing screws on the sides to take these fins off and then you could take the four screws off to get inside to remove the battery the um, strap feels like it's made very very well pretty comparable to what you would find on a Casio um, this here it's hard plastic it's it's not the slightly rubbery plastic that you find on the G-Shocks I think they have, um, Casio has like a, a tough watch, not the G-Shock watch, and it's a harder plastic, very similar to this. The, uh, the crystal here is not glass, it's, it, it's a resin. It's a glass resin is what they call it, essentially it's a plastic. So this will scratch, however, you can see how this sticks up way above the crystal, so it makes it much harder to bang that up, but... Um, it will scratch. It is a resin, so you need to be careful or just understand what it is. So there you go. The FR821B by Sunroad. I've never heard of this company except uh, when I finally started seeing them on websites from China. So, you know, I, personally, if this were in the store and I was sort of looking at it, I, I would have probably been turned off right away by the very hard to read display. You really got to have the light just right on there. You can see it's uh, hard to see right there. Not not really that great. However, packed, packed, packed with features. So, you know, if you're used to displays like this and you're looking for a relatively inexpensive watch, when I say relatively inexpensive, I mean if you were to get a watch with all the bells and whistles that this has, you're probably looking at something um, over a hundred dollars easily, if not a couple of hundred dollars. But you're getting it here from GearBest with free shipping for forty-five dollars and fifty-seven cents. And again, the only thing you have to overlook is the display um, that's a little hard to read. There, um, again, I could, you know, you had the nice bright sun going on there. Just like I got the light here, you can see that it will um, look better. I'm not, you know, yeah, I'm trying to make it look better. But normally, to, you know, it's going to sort of look more like that. Where it's just, uh, you know, you're going to have to fiddle, fiddle with it with your arm to be able to read it in normal indoor lighting. You know, I, I'm sort of, so I just want you to know right up front, <laughs> you know. No, I don't want to, you know, try to sell you something and then you're going to get it and say, oh, it looks dark or whatever. So it's a lot to, to look, to try to um, overlook to get all those features. But if you really want these features and you're willing to overlook that old, old style type of uh, blacked out display. I'm sort of talking in circles because I just want to make sure you understand. Because <laughs> I don't want to be a Grinch. I want to be Santa. Got the beard. I need to work a little bit. I only got the little bit of gray there. You know, I could either get a little bit older. Hopefully, I'll make it and have that full gray thing going on, and then I'll be. I hope everyone's getting what they like. I there's one thing that I can't find that that drove me crazy. I was looking for one of those um, things you put outside the house and project the the different color dots all over your house, and it's sort of a, a, <laughs> a lazy bad way of decorating your house for Christmas so you don't have to go up and put all the lights up and everything because uh, you know when you get to my age you don't have the energy that you used to have and you don't want to risk busting a hip or a leg or your neck uh, climbing up putting the lights up so it seemed like it was a 
great idea and I saw them in the stores and I just didn't pull the trigger on it uh, when I saw it and then within two days you know where I decided okay I'm gonna get it I go to the store gone go to every other store in my neighborhood gone <laughs> it sucks all right well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day. And if I don't see you again before Christmas, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho.